Hi lovely ladies and thank you for watching. So as you can see, I'm already glammed up and ready to go out. But before that, I want to show you how I achieved this very simple, quick, smoky eye. And for this eye, the key element is using cream eyeshadows. And I got these two from Discam. They are from Revlon. And with this key look, you need only two colors, a very dark color and a very light color. I have a purple Merlot color over here and a champagne gold over here. I will obviously link that in the description for you. But for your dark color, you can also use a dark brown or black. And for a light color, you can also do copper, bronze, silver. It doesn't really matter. It just depends what color combo you want to use what's so nice about these is they come with a little brush that slides out of the packaging which is fantastic the nice thing about cream eyeshadows is you don't need a whole lot of brushes i will only be using one brush which is a flat brush to do this entire eye look so let me show you how i did it so I'm going to start with my eyes first. Whenever I am using quite dark eyeshadow, I don't want to risk any fallout. So I will be first doing my eyes and then after that, it's just easy to wipe off any fallout and then go into my foundation. That's going to just make sure that I look absolutely flawless. So I'm going to start by prepping my eyes with concealer. I will not be going in with powder after I use the concealer like I usually do. Because I'm using cream eyeshadows, I want the eyeshadow to kind of glide over the concealer. And if I put powder on that, it's just going to become very patchy. So I'm going to use the smallest amount of concealer, basically just to kind of get most of the blue-ish tone and the veins on my eyelid away so that the pigment is not competing with the freckles or whatever might be on my eyelid. So as you can see, I am using the smallest amount and I'm just buffing it in with my finger so that I warm up the concealer so it doesn't say too fast. You want it to go under your eye as well. And I really did use so little. Okay, so that is the eye prepped. Next, I am going in with um, my dark shade, which is this beautiful purple, and I am using their brush that came with it. And I'm just going to be packing the color on my lid. And I'm being very liberal with this cream eyeshadow. As you can see, it's literally just gliding on. If you had a cream eyeshadow that was in the format or in the shape of like a chubby eyeliner, you can be a little bit more precise. I must say those are fantastic. But this little brush and this pot cream eyeshadow is awesome. So I'm stopping at my crease making sure that it is thick and very pigmented okay so then next we're gonna go in with our brush to blend this and I do a drag mo drag movement and I'm gonna slowly but surely move upwards you don't want to take too long with this because you want 
to do this before the cream eyeshadow sets but you can always go in and add more as I will demonstrate now so be patient and slowly work it upwards I go higher up on the outside corner than I would on the inside corner I want to keep this quite low down just because I don't want it to look too dramatic It's just a light tap 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 with your flat brush then I'm going to go back in and just put more on there just doing the same this time just going a little bit higher up and you can determine how far up you want to go depending on your eye shape um, I'm not going up too far probably about a centimeter from where my actual crease is I'm not gonna take it all the way up there that is gonna look very extreme you just go in as many times as you need to to get that line blended out smoked out getting there just want to put more eyeshadow on the outer corner that's really gonna widen up my eye the desired look and shape I think I have to dip in one more time just to get that purple color in there I must say this brush is a little bit on the short side, so I'm not used to working with a brush so tiny, but it gets the job done, so. Okay, so the purple looks beautiful. Dark purple really is a color for most people. Um, so if you don't know what color I must say, I would recommend a dark purple. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. We're getting there. And what you can do is use your finger to just buff that ex very outer line to make sure that it just looks seamless okay 
Now I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line and I'm gonna use that same tiny brush and I'm gonna put it on the side of the brush and I'm just gonna go in. As you can see, there's quite significant fallout and that's exactly why I didn't do my foundation because this is gonna be quite easy to clean. So I'm just drawing a line from the outer corner to the inner corner where the outer corner is thicker and then slowly just thin that line as you go closer to the inner corner. And this is gonna make you look very dramatic. And you can play around with how far in you can go only halfway if you don't want it to be as bold. So I'm just getting the pigment on there. I'm trying to get as close to my waterline. And I'm connecting my bottom with the top. So make sure that you connect those two. And then I'm going in with my flat brush again and I'm just going to be softening that outside line. And don't worry, we will go in with an earbud to clean this line. But I just want to make sure that we get that shape and I'm connecting this that shape so that it looks kind of like a V and it's going to be very flattering to the eye. Okay, so that is for the purple. Next, we want to get that lighter shade on the lid and that is going to make this eye look, look less dramatic and very dark. This is going to brighten up the eye. So I'm putting this in the middle of my eye and you can decide if you want to keep it only in the middle or you want to move totally to the corner of the eye. It depends on what looks good on your eye and how dramatic you want the look. The more dramatic, I would say, if you want to really make an impact, keep the shimmer only in the middle. But if you feel that it's going to be a bit dark or too dramatic, you can move the gold or your lighter color all the way to the corner of your inner corner of your eye. So I'm being quite liberal with this because I want this to create that contrast. And I'm gonna move into there because I like how that looks on my particular eye. And this cream shadow just smooths over the previous eyeshadow. So then I'm going in with my other brush and I just want to blend the lighter shade with the darker shade so that it just fades into one another. And you can just tap, I'm just tapping that line and I'm slowly but surely blending the two together. So after that, I just wanna see if I've lost any pigment in my purple and I did. So I'm just gonna go back in with my darker color in the corner of my eye because there I want the most color. So before I finish, I just want to go back in and just see if I have some 
So doing a smoky eye is always messy. There is no way to avoid it. So you're not doing it wrong if you are messing. So I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended. Okay, so that is one eye done. I'm going to go in now and clean off the fallout. And I'm just gonna use my Marcella water for that on a earbud or a cotton pad. I think I'm just gonna put it on a cotton pad and see. So, that in there, folded it in half and I'm just wiping. And these cream shadows stick, they really do. So they're gonna last the whole night. So I just wanna see if that line is nicely blended now after I cleaned it up, which it is. Awesome, so I'm gonna go do the other eye. Again, using the smallest amount of concealer. And make sure that you check how the other eye is so that you follow the same shape and you end up with the same shape. So I managed to clean off all the fallout because I didn't have my foundation and I didn't have to worry too much about applying the eyeshadow, especially when you're doing a dark look, it's already intimidating as is and worrying if there's any fallout will just make you absolutely panic. So I cleaned that off. I'm going to do some eyeliner. You can choose if you want to or not, if you want to keep it not as dark you don't have to put eyeliner on but i want to go very dramatic so i'm gonna just go in with any um eyeliner gel eyeliner i'm just using my inglot chubby eyeliner for this and i'm just going into my waterline Making sure that I connect my bottom, the bottom line or the eye liner that I put in my waterline with the corner of my eye because you don't want that to look disconnected. Okay, then last for the eyes would then be your mascara. And I'm gonna go in with a thick layer.
Okay, so the mascara is done. And as you can see, I have a little bit of uh, fallout over here. So I'll just go back in and I'll just wipe it off. Right, so the eye look, this is a is almost done. Um, this is an add-on, you don't have to do this, but I feel that this could really help make the eye just stand out a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter that I'll be using on my face, my MAC Skin Finish. And I'm just gonna put it on my flat brush, don't need another brush for this. And I'm just gonna put it on my brow bone. And that makes such a difference. I didn't use the gold over there because that's gonna be very extreme. You want something that is, that has a shimmer that is closer to your natural skin tone. So this one has a very light pink shade to it. And I'm gonna use that same shimmer in the corner of my eye to open it up there. Okay, so that is the eye done now. We are done with the eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with my primer, concealer, foundation, powder. I'm gonna blush and bronze, and then my look will be complete, and then, yeah, we'll decide on what lip color. Okay, so next is highlighter. I am going to be very careful where I put the highlighter because I'm assuming if you look this good that you wanna take a few photos. And if I'm putting it anywhere in the middle of my face, I'm just gonna look sweaty on the photos. So I am just keeping it under my eye at my temple. That's the only place I'm gonna put my highlighter. Okay, so I am then going to do my lips. I am gonna be very dramatic. I'm going for a red that has a bit of a gold shimmer to it, just because I love very bold lips and a very bold eye, but you can obviously just tone the eye down if you feel that it's too much and it's not your personality. But I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay. It's their Vice Liquid Lipstick in the color Trap Queen.
So with that done, don't forget to put on fixing spray so that your look lasts the whole night. So I just want to say that when you are planning your glam look, make sure that it's true to your personality. I paired my very bold eye with a very bold lip, but that is because that's my personality. I like to be very dramatic. But you can take whatever element in this look and make it your own. If you just want to do the smoky, go for a nude lip. If you don't like dark purple, go for a muted brown. There is so many ways that you can make this your own. Please subscribe, guys. Ring the bell because my next video is out very soon.